Okay, if you saw our previous video with the audio issue and dropping, we're gonna try, this is part two, so we're going to try updating the firmware on the receiver first, and then moving forward to one transmitter at a time. So first, what we wanna do is we wanna to come to this page, there'll be a link to this in the description, and basically you go to the downloads, remember we'll do one at a time, we'll do the receiver, and it should be in our downloads, there it is. And in case you're confused on which one is which, all right, I'm gonna plug this out. Um, and you scroll down like this. Receiver is this thing, okay? It looks like a rectangular thing. So that's why we're doing one at a time so you don't get confused. So we'll do the receiver first. And now, um, in order for the um, this to appear on your desktop, the um, it has to be off. Watch what happens when I plug it in, okay? And see, confirm. And desktop, let's see. Nothing it should appear right around there on the corner. So what we want to do is if you shut it off, right? Now it'll appear on your desk. See, voila, that's so weird. Um, anyway, that's how you do that. In case you like plug it in, plug it out, it's not working, it'll work. So now remember, we're gonna do the first one firmware at a time, okay? And here we go, should be at the top, there we go. Uh, receiver, so R for a receiver, okay? Put it in there, and what do we use? Now open it, it should be in here. Oh, it's, I guess there's a spinning beach ball. I remember spinning beach balls from back in the day. It should have copied over. Um, so we'll just wait a little bit and see what happens. That's so weird. Uh, and especially since this is a high data cable, and it's only, well, it's so weird, it's only two megabytes. Hmm. Um, almost full why would it almost be full is it should it's empty anyway hopefully fingers crossed that this actually works um i reached out to dji and um uh, for put in a support ticket and they had suggested um updating the uh, firmware and i was like how do i update the firmware i thought you would update the firmware from the um dji memo application but apparently not they said you have to do it like this all right so we'll see uh, now we'll just wait uh, maybe i'll just go make a cake or something this is so weird anyway hang in there we'll get there um i guess maybe, maybe i'm afraid to um like put it down because sometimes when you put stuff down that's USB-C connection and they're fickle they just drop their oh drop their connection and if, uh, i spoke too soon okay so that's there and then they said to oh, confirm, I guess we'll turn it on. Okay. And then I presume we'll just plug this out. All right. And now, oh, nice. It's updating. Okay. So plug that out. It's updating. So we'll let that do that. And then in the meantime, we're going to do this. We're going to do both mics. Okay. To update them and plug them in that it should appear on a desktop. See, there they go. So now we're gonna download the other firmware. We're just gonna move this to the side. Why I'd want this connected to my Dropbox, I don't know, but not now. All right, so now we did the RX. Now we're going to T for transmitter. So this one will probably wind up being TX. There it is. We'll put this one here. Okay. And of course, it's the last one, which is here. Let's see what that does. Oh, nice. Update successful. Hold on one second. Um, we'll just swipe up. Nice, look at that. And now to see which firmware this is running, right? I'm just gonna go here, settings. Uh, oops, info. And 4.5, nice. And remember, in and then the, um, oops. And then for here, for the, well, this is still 4.2, so we need to bring them up to 4.5, okay? So remember, receiver, transmitter. So we need to take the one with the T, right? And drop it in there, drop it in here. Uh, oh, and, oh, since it's, it's like we're still recording the audio, so we'll click not now. So here we go, we're going to take the transmitter, put it in there. And then plug it out and hopefully it will work its magic.
<laughs> Too bad you can't do this to the Mimo app, and then we're gonna plug it out. And then, presumably, I believe, you know what, let's shut this off. The auto record, uh, transmitter settings, no cut, and interesting noise reduction. Oh wow, there's a noise reduction thing there. Auto record is off, okay? And then now, hopefully when we turn it on, maybe we'll get some like flashing lights. And of course we have to put it in the other mode, right? Presumably so we could talk to the, oh, there we go. So it has to talk to there. So now it's flashing green and red, green and red, which is a good sign. So you have to put it in that mode, okay? There we are. And now we're going to do the same thing with this one, okay? We're going to update um, this transmitter and plug it in, All right? Where's that special hole? Plug that in. And now there it is on our desktop. Now we're just going to take, remember, the TX file. Uh, oh, no wonder why I didn't update because I put the wrong one in there. Okay. So, on that note, see, TX, okay? Um, delete the trash because most likely, if you've ever seen files and the attached to the trash and it's full, it's uh, whatever it is, it's just gonna be in there forever. So we'll go here, empty trash, empty trash, okay? So now we're just going to um, turn this on. Well, actually plug it out and then turn it on. Okay, and there it is, it's flashing. So we did that correctly. Um, remember the T X goes into the um, microphone. So now we're just gonna wait, let it work its magic, and hopefully it updated and then hopefully we can get our audio back, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, you know, like I can keep it on, uh, I'll still test it and see if I can keep it on the frequency um, that everything on five gigahertz, right? 5G. We'll see. Ah, looks like this one updated. This one stopped flashing, um, which is nice. So now let's go here. Let's go to info, transmitter settings, info 4.5. All right, for this thing, uh, receiver and the transmitter 4.5. Nice, we are updated. Wonder if we got any new features in here. Have to, I guess, read the manual. Um, uh, let's see what we got. Ah, auto record, we're gonna turn back on since that was making things a little bit glitchy. We have here, uh, noise reduction, that's on. And we have record, we have 32-bit float, that should be on, and that's it. You know, transmit again should be 11, um, and that's it, voila. We are current. Now let's see if we can get some decent recordings without the audio dropping. And in case you're wondering how successful the update was, just have a listen right now. So the audio right now is being recorded from the DJI Mic 2 directly into the computer. And um, also, I guess, not really called mic, it's called the uh, transmitter um, being sent to the receiver. So the receiver is plugged into my computer and I'm wearing the mic right now. Or oh, I can't say mic. I'm wearing the transmitter right now. Why can't you just call it a microphone? <laughs> anyway, um, so hopefully this solution will be a permanent fix and we won't know until we fly the drone at the 5.8 uh, gigahertz frequency. But so far, so good. I just listened to the previous voice and I like the way it sounds. But remember, this is with the, um, the me wearing the transmitter, which is also known as the microphone, and the receiver being directly connected into the computer. But so far, so good. Uh, remember, the audio has been fine. It's just the audio is not fine when recording at the 5.8 gigahertz uh, frequency uh, when flying a drone uh, on the same frequency as the camera. Anyway, I hope this video helped you in better understanding on how to troubleshoot your audio issues. And hopefully you can solve it uh, by updating the firmware or uh, another solution that might be even better. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.